Hi guys, welcome to K's. Today we are working on the sassiest, the baddest, not so cover up, cover up skirt. Let's get started. I am using this basic yarn found at Walmart and it's not too bad. And I'm gonna be using the 6.5 millimeter hook. You'll be needing your waist measurement. This is a size 2X, so I'm doing about 40 inches. And you're gonna take half of that measurement because we're making two pieces. So I'm gonna be working with 20 inches. We are working on the width of our waistbands. So I chain 12, but you can do more or less. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. And then we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Now half double crochet all the way down. So this is what you should have. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work. Now this first stitch does not count. We will be crocheting into the next stitch. And we are doing a half double crochet into the back loop only. That is the loop that is furthest away from you. So if you want your waistband to be as wide as I make mine, then you'll want to continue to have 10 half double crochets. But again, it is up to you. So I'm just gonna continue to do this, the chain two and half double crochet in the back loops. And this is what it should look like in the end. And so a tip is that I don't make mine exactly the 20 inches I need. I make it so it stretches to the 20 inches because we know as over time, it will stretch. Here I'm showing you that when you get to your second piece to make sure that you're making them the same size, you can use the ridges to line them up and make sure that they're gonna be even. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to work along the length of the waistband so along the waistband you'll find these little holes and you're just gonna go for it find the holes that you can find and go ahead and insert single crochets so this is just gonna leave you with a nice even base that we need to work on the next part so to create the mesh stitch, we are going to chain four and this will act as a double crochet and a chain one and then turn your work. Like before, this first stitch under our chain four does not bother us. We're gonna skip that, skip the next stitch and we will insert a double crochet into the next stitch. And the pattern goes double crochet chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet. And we're just going to continue this pattern all the way down to the end. You may have to finesse it, but no matter what happens, make sure that you get a double crochet into the last stitch. Okay? Okay. So again, when you are working on your second piece, you wanna make sure they're even. So I like to go ahead and count how many spaces I had on my first piece, and I make sure that I have the same amount of spaces on the second piece. But we're gonna do five rows of the double crochet chain one pattern. At the beginning of the rows, you will still be chaining four. Now, I like to insert my hook into the top of the double crochets from the previous row. Some people like to do the spaces, but I feel like it gives it a more neat look when you do it in the top of the stitch. Now, when you get to the end with the chain four, count um, from that bottom stitch or whatever. I did it backwards on here, but you want it to be in that third chain so it looks like you skipped a chain and went into the top of a double crochet. If you get this little warped look on one side, it is okay, it still turns out just fine. You can breathe. But we are going to start on the decreases now. And we are going to decrease until our piece looks like a pizza slice. 
I do a decrease on at the beginning of the row and the end. So you're still going to chain four. And then we're going to turn our work. And we start the decrease here. So I'm going to start like I'm doing a normal double crochet and pull through two. Now I'm going to yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the rest of them. Now we are just going to crochet all the way down until we have two double crochets and the chain four left. So here's the other decrease. Chain one and then insert your hook into that third chain again. And that is the end of the decrease row. We are chaining our four, turning our work, and then we're just going to work like a non decrease row. We're just going to go through each stitch. And as you see there, I went through the top hole of that decrease from the last row. So that will be your pattern until you get to the end. You are doing one row of decrease, one row of no decrease, one row of decrease, one row of no decrease. For your perfect pizza slice, the last row will just have the chain four and a decrease. And then you are done with that and you can snip snip. Once you have finished both pieces, again you will have two pieces. It's time to join them together. I like to slip stitch. So I'm just joining the waistband part. I have turned my work inside out and I am just slip stitching the waistbands together. And this is what it should look like. Mm -hmm. Whoever is wearing this, their whole thigh will be out. <laughs> So we have joined both sides of the waistband. Now we're going to flip our work back how it should be. And now, I mean, you're finished with that. So it's time to create your frame. You can make it however long or short you would like it to be. I like it to be a little bit long. I do about nine pieces of fringe and I use my hook to pull it through. And you're just going to kind of create a knot to keep your fringe on. For me, um, adding fringe to every eighth space worked out pretty evenly. And I really made sure to put the fringe um, on that middle point. That is what you really want. Now using two strands of yarn, I will be crocheting a chain that is long enough to go around my waist um, to act as a drawstring. We are then going to fold our skirt in half so that we can find the most middle point. And we are going to pull our waistband through like that. And I'm going to use the ridges that were created on the waistband to help pull the drawstring through evenly. And you guys, we are just going to do that all the way around the waistband. And once you get back to the middle, you are finito. Y'all, that is it. We have completed this sassy little tutorial, honey. If y'all try it out, I want to see. So make sure you send pictures. Y'all come back soon. Now you're here. <laughs>